what I discovered from the research, and it's so fascinating, is how circadian rhythms are related to our hormone health. They're related to our gut health and our brain health. Circadian rhythms literally um, help our body get balance. Um, so eating with circadian rhythms became something that was quite interesting to me because it made sense that, you know, less than a hundred years ago, we did not have late night eating options. There was no refrigerators and TVs and um, people weren't popping late night eats all the time. It was basically once the evening came around, you turned down the lights, you didn't have refrigerators, and you were kind of done eating for the evening. And the studies show that your body thrives on this kind of um, eating and then fasting, eating and then fasting, which is very natural. And you can really improve so many things, including gut and immune and brain and hormone health, just by following these circadian patterns with eating and sleeping. Um, and that's what really got me interested because I said, well, these are kind of easy switches I could make into my life, um, getting sunlight in the morning, getting a little more darkness in the evening and stopping my food two to three hours before bed and not eating until the next morning. It seems like it should be super easy, but if you look at the American population, they eat about 15 to 16 hours a day on average. That means there's only eight hours left. So that's basically sleeping time. Um, and that's way too much for our gut and our cells to handle. Intermittent fasting is like exercise. It's a hermetic stressor. A small stress to our system has huge benefits in the rest period. So if you think about it, just like exercise, you know, you lift weights and the benefits are maybe in the regrowth period, in the rest period where things are regrowing. And the same thing is like, you throw a hormetic stressor to your body and your body says, oh, what, like, you know, she, metabolically it's like lifting weights, like, oh, oh, she just intermittent fasted. Let's create metabolic changes to help her with that intermittent fasting, it's a hormetic stressor. Now, remember, just like exercise, hormetic stressor can be too stressful in the wrong dose for someone. First day you go to lift weights, you're not going to lift the 150 pound barbell. And that's why people fail at intermittent fasting all the time because they go, oh, I read somewhere 16.8, so I'm going to do 16.8 every day. And that's like running you know, 12 miles on your first day. You are going to feel exhausted, depleted, and your hormones are going to be all over the place. It's not the way to go. So that's why I say that hermetic stressor can be a great thing for the metabolism. Hermetic stressors are great for our health. So sauna is a hormetic stressor exercise a hormetic stressor. Intermittent fasting can be a hormetic stressor, but in the wrong doses, it can be too stressful. So that's how it really can help the metabolism though.